Hello everybody, my name is Drifty and I'm from Driftwood Gaming. In this quick RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Yanfly's Region Restrictions plugin. If you're excited for Yanfly's um, grid-free grid doodads plugin that's about to come out next week, um, then you probably need to know how to use this plugin. Most of you may already know the basics of this plugin, but I did see some apprehension and people uh, wanted to find another way to handle collisions with the doodads plugin without using this plugin. Um, but maybe I, f I feel like maybe their apprehension is they just don't want to have to learn another plugin to use the plugin, the new plugin. Um, but I'll show you how very easy it is to use this plugin in this quick tutorial. So this plugin is called YEP underscore region event, uh, region restrictions. Sorry about that, YEP underscore region restrictions. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can download this plugin uh, right from Yanfly's website. Um, it could do lots of different things, but for the grid free doodads, I'll show you everything you need to know in order to use this plugin to handle your collisions for when you're designing your cool grid free maps. So, all you really have to do is select a region number that you want to use, and we see that we're on tab, the fourth tab here for a region. Depends on your tile set where the R is, but it'll be, it should be on every uh, tile set. So, you select any number you want. Uh, the reason why I'm picking 85 is because I may be using some of these other lower numbers to pick uh, enemy, enemy encounters or I, I would probably already be using some of these lower numbers. So I'm using something in the higher or mid range. Also I'm picking 85 because it's red and I would assume that that would help me color code where I want the player to be able to be restricted and where I want the player to be able to walk. So I've selected two values in here, 85 to restrict the player and 77 to allow the player to walk where they otherwise would not be able to walk. So once we've selected these two, and obviously this plugin does a lot more stuff, you can check the help file if you want to get into it uh, more detailed. But this is the bare necessities for how you would use this plugin in tandem with Yanfly's Grid Free Doodads plugin. So we've selected 85 to be our restriction we've selected 77 to let the player walk across. Now obviously here, um, the player is going to be able to walk across this right here. And the player can see that he could walk across it um, by just looking at it. I mean, you would assume, unless you've edited the tile set, that this is a bridge you could walk across. We're going to uh, stay on the draw layer here, but we're also going to edit. We're going to say that this is no longer a bridge. And matter of fact, this is going to be like a a point in the game where the player looks like he's cut off. But what if you want to make a hidden path across the map and make the player explore to find the way across? You can do that very easily by selecting 77, which we put in our plugin parameters to allow the player to walk across. And we're going to say we draw a line right here. So this is going to let the player walk across this, across this map, this gap that would no, otherwise not be able to come across. Also, if we wanted to make a puzzle to restrict the player, say we do, we set this map up like this and we use Yanfly's Grid Free uh, Doodads plugin to decorate it. So it's got like all kinds of stuff. I, can, I obviously don't have the plugin, so I can't illustrate that uh, yet. Um, but say we had some like rocks that were in the way, and the rocks were right here. But the player would be able to walk right through those rocks if we didn't select this number and allow the player uh, or restrict the player from walking across. So we can make like a little maze out of these rocks that the player would have to come around to go up here. So these are, would be where all the rocks are at. Now let's play test this game and uh, just test where we can walk. All right, so we could walk across here. If I'm pressing up now, I'm not able to come across this little gap. But, and I'm pressing left here, but I, I can't seem to get across these two tile, this tile because this is where the region restriction's at. So we would have to find the hidden, the hidden way there. Oh, we found it. Also, we can walk across the 77 that we put right there. So in order to get all the way across, we actually have to put 77 on the tile after it. So we would have to go here and here, otherwise we would be stuck in here. So that's a little caveat. Let's try this one more time. 
can't walk across here. If we go like this and try to come across, we, we're restricted. You know, and you can design your rocks or blockades however you want. And now you can use your plugin to determine where the player can walk across and where the player can't walk across. So learning this plugin is very simple and easy as you can see. You just pick two numbers and use those numbers, uh, those region numbers solely for where the player can't walk and where the player cannot walk. You can always go into the parameters and change those later on if you want to. And you can also restrict events from randomly wandering around uh, by selecting different regions or the same regions for them as well. But that's going to do it for this quick tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful and I hope you get excited for the new grid-free doodads plugin that Yenfly is coming out with. If you don't back them on Patreon, you're missing out on some, some cool stuff. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a like if you want to see more of these quick tutorials on uh, essential plugin knowledge. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's a button right there in the corner. It says subscribe. You don't have to, but if you do, I appreciate it very much. If you want to get more involved with the community, you want to network with some people to work on games and do things that you are already doing but with other people, um, you could go to driftwoodgaming.com, join the forums, introduce yourself, and maybe you'll get hooked up with some people and you guys will start an awesome project. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being awesome. We'll see you in the next tutorial.